Okay, so now our scene is really coming together. And what we're looking to do is a few more things. The first thing we're going to work on is coloring. So this might be a shorter lesson, we'll see. But what we want to do essentially is get Brad looking like he's in this elevator. Right now it's a little bit dull. Um, the color doesn't match up as you can see the color here of me. Now since we use the same camera when I imported the original file uh, footage of my layer I looked like this too. And so the way we do this here in Premiere Pro is we're going to open up our window and come down to do, 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 Lumetri Color. So we'll click on that. Bingo bango. And essentially we have Lumetri Color along with our other windows. So what we want is to keep it here. Maybe if it's not here then just moving it across so it is right here in this green section clicking that and moving it down so as you can see we've got a lot of things going on here now we don't need the effects so we can actually close that panel for this uh, color layout that we're going to create this is our um, audio and this is our toolbar so that I don't think you can get rid of those close panel there we go. Let's close those two. We don't need those for this. This is just for coloring. Great. And that's looking pretty good. So we're going to make that a little bit bigger so we can see our options. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on. There we go. And what we'll want to do is save this. So if I haven't already shown you how to do that, let's go to Window workspaces and then we're going to um, save as new workspace and then you just type in the name there so this you might just say coloring or whatever that you might want main coloring and go OK and then that will save that um, if you hadn't already saved your uh, layout like this you do it the same way you might have to move it around now because you've got the color window and the effects, but do your best. And now that we're here, what we're looking to do is get Brad's layer activated, like so. And now this window applies to Brad. And so this is a new feature that um, people are raving about, having this sort of color um, window in place to make it really easy to color. So right now we're looking at Brad and here we go. So we've got our white balance selector, temperature, tint, exposure, contrast, that sort of stuff. This is in our basic correction tab. So we open that up and you can also get into other things. We just want basic correction for now. And uh, we start playing around. So here, let's just try the temperature. And this is every shot's gonna be different. So really I'm just empowering you to start playing with this. It's easy to reset. You can always come up here to reset effect. Yep, so you just reset it. So if you make it really funky, like, oh God, he just looks like a Martian, you can reset that, no problem. But remember, it's gonna reset everything you're doing. So right now we're gonna just work with temperature. We're gonna uh, lift the temperature. So you can see if it's colder temperature, it looks like he's freezing. There you go, he's got a sunburn. So as you can see, this is a little cooler than what we're dealing with over here in our whole um, space. And the reason we went with a warmer skin tones is because the color, which is really warm of this elevator interior, is going to also reflect its color onto us when we're in it. So we're gonna warm Brad up here. That's looking a little bit better, maybe a little too much, we'll see. Good, that's looking pretty good. And then let's see here, with tint, can that do anything? No, so I'm gonna bring that back to zero. Exposure, exposure just increases the lightness as if you did that on your camera. It's pretty good. Contrast, maybe a little higher in contrast. 
highlights. You can boost your highlights, lower your highlights. Same with your shadows, your whites, and your blacks. So play around with this. I'm just going to do that with mine too. You can pause the video at any point just to follow along. And really, it's just like seasoning a good meal. You just want to play around finding the right balance of it all. And saturation is right below this reset button, which is also you can reset everything here as well, just in this section. Uh, there's an auto. You can always try that. Uh, that doesn't quite work. Bring it reset back. And uh, then saturation. What that does is just boost the colors. So yeah, I can kind of like see if we take it all the way out. It's just a grayscale, too much color. Again, it's just playing with it, having fun. It's looking pretty good there. If you want to go deeper into it, um, you can click the creative tab and then you've got some color wheels that you can move around and you can see it does some pretty extreme stuff. So just have some fun. This is a new tool, so play around with it. Uh, you can see eventually you might just find that perfect spot that just starts making go like, oh, he looks like he's in there. It's pretty good. Tint balance. What does that do? It doesn't look like it's doing anything right now. Put it back to zero. One thing that I do find very effective in this creative tab is this sharpen option where I can sharpen my image which is really nice actually. Some lower end cameras won't get as sharp of, as an image as the higher end that you go and lenses too. Um, you could have a really good camera with a cheap lens and it, that will also, that's the quality of the glass they say, really brings a lot of image into it. So I'm gonna zoom in here, just move that. Just look at Brad. Actually, bring that down to 100%. See both of us. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, it looks like I can bright him up a little bit. So I'm going to boost just by like 0.2. That's actually two full stops up. That looks a little bit better. There you go. So that's looking pretty darn good. You can also check out things like curves, color wheels and match. Uh, I never really go down this far. Um, sometimes you might want to add a vignette to the scene. Uh, all right, that's just to him. I'll show you how to actually apply color to the whole thing down the road. Uh, so I just want to put this back to normal. Don't want to throw that off. Can't remember where that was. Midpoint 50 probably. There we go. Great. So that pretty much ends the lesson just on coloring. You can apply this Lumetri color to all your layers. Um, you can see here I can even like this whole background. I can play around with that. And, uh, but we're not. All right.